Good evening. A group of out of towners rushed into stores across the metro, but they were not holiday shoppers. Police say four people drove hours just to clean out several stores while armed with guns and a hatchet. News 13's Rachel Knapp is live in the newsplex with this story. Rachel? Brittany, police say the group's crime spree lasted from the early morning well into the afternoon, and it didn't come to an end until police officers in the streets and in the air cornered them near a busy shopping center. We got enough, we got a crime of our own without people coming in from out of town to do crime. Instead of sitting down for Thanksgiving dinner, police say some thieves from out of town hit stores all over the metro. It all started at the Circle K off Juan Tabo. At 8 a.m., Albuquerque police got a call that two men robbed the store at gunpoint, then fled in a black truck with chrome accents. Half an hour later and six miles down Lomas, this 7-Eleven called 911 with an eerily similar armed robbery to report. It didn't stop then. Five hours later, the same armed robbery narrative came from a Dollar Tree. After the third armed robbery, where the thieves stole money and cigarettes, police finally spotted the getaway car, and a high-speed chase began. Police say at one point the truck was even driving into oncoming traffic. No one was hit, and the chase ended near Uptown with the help of APD's helicopter unit. Inside the truck, Aaron Tom, Truman Yazi, Tachina Bahi, and Derek Mitchell. It's a companion case, correct? Yes, sir. The suspects are all from Gallup. Mitchell told police they all agreed to drive to Albuquerque and commit some robberies, where he used a hatchet as a weapon instead of a gun. The city's definitely not as safe as it used to be. It used to be way safer. Locals say it's disturbing these four out-of-towners went on a robbery spree in their hometown on a holiday. The crime needs to be worked on. At their arraignment hearings this morning, all four got their tampering with evidence charges dropped, but they are still facing a slew of charges, including armed robbery and aggravated fleeing from an officer. Brittany. Okay, Rachel, the complaint also states the truck the suspects were in was stolen. Police found the hatchet Mitchell says he used for the robberies inside of that truck.